Good afternoon, everybody. I uh, just want to do a quick video to show you some updates that I've done to my fish measuring device or my fish measuring tube. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of windy out here today, but it's a beautiful day with some beautiful scenery. So I thought I'd, do, I'd try it out here. So the other day I showed, uh, I had a video here of my fish measuring device, my fish measuring tube, and I made a couple of modifications to it, and I'll show you what they are. First of all, I increased the length to 75 centimeters. There's a lot of lakes in Alberta, and most of them in Saskatchewan have slot sizes of 75 centimeters or use the measurement of 75 centimeters. So I thought that I would uh, increase the overall length to 75 centimeters. The other thing that I did is I put a hole in this end down here. And what the hole is for is basically it's a viewing hole. Uh, so to make sure that your fish is in here nice and, and, and square to the end, uh, just uh, pop, you know, you take a look in there, make sure it's touching the end, and because uh, a, a smaller walleye or even a smaller pike, even though you might not measure, measure a smaller pike, but a smaller pike or a smaller walleye could kind of lay in there and twist sideways a little bit, and then the measurement could be off by a centimeter or two. And especially in Alberta, where the regulations are pretty tight, you want to make sure that you are on point with your measurements. And so just to make sure, added a little hole on there and also made it uh, 75 centimeters long. Uh, just thank you guys all for your interest in this product. Uh, still working on, on developing it and, and making it the best that it can be. Uh, thank you for your input and I look forward to hearing from you again.